Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 48 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'll be explaining how to solve an absolute value equation. So if you don't already know what an absolute value is, I'll go ahead and go over that really quickly here. So an absolute value is basically we have two absolute value bars to denote an absolute value and then we have some sort of information inside of these bars and basically what the bars do is they just make sure that whatever is in here is represented as something that is positive. So for example, if I had a negative 4 inside of my absolute value bars, then that's basically equal to a positive 4. And we could also put a positive 4 inside of absolute value bars, and the positive 4 inside the absolute value also equals a positive 4. So basically, we can have any kind of expression in here that we want. We can have a whole bunch of variables and uh, whatever we need to in here. And basically, if the entire quantity of whatever's in here is negative, the absolute value bars just turn that into a positive. So now that we've got the basic concept of an absolute value down, let's go ahead and solve an absolute value equation. So let's look at the absolute value equation. The absolute value of x plus 3, and we're going to set that equal to 10. So if you think about what I just said, we need some positive value or some negative value. Take the absolute value of that, and it has to equal 10. So basically, we can make this work if, if we have either a positive 10 or a negative 10 inside these absolute value bars. This will be a true statement. So let's go ahead and just write that down. We can have a positive 10 or a negative 10. And uh, basically, what we're saying then is since we can plug in either one of these into an absolute value and it will equal 10, then that means that x plus 3 has to be one of these two choices. So because of that, we can simply create an equation, and we do that by saying x plus 3 equals negative 10, and x plus 3 equals positive 10 since x plus 3 has to be one of these two choices for this statement to be true. And uh, so now we just have these two simple equations to solve, so we're just going to subtract 3 on each side of each equation here. So subtracting 3. And uh, basically, a positive 3 and a negative 3 give us 0, so we're just left with x on the left-hand side here. And that's equal to negative 10 minus 3, and that's going to give us a negative 13. And then we have x once again on here, since the positive and negative 3 cancel, just leaving us with the x term. And then 10 minus 7, or sorry, 10 minus 3 equals 7. And uh, now we have our two solutions. And uh, basically, if we want to look at this, this makes sense. Now, we can trade the negative 13 for the x up here. So negative 13 plugged into our x value negative 13 plus 3 is a negative 10, and negative 10 inside absolute value bars equals positive 10. If we were to plug in 7 for our x up here, since x equals 7 in this solution, 7 plus 3 equals positive 10, and absolute value of a positive 10 is equal to 10. So therefore, both of these um, solutions satisfy the above absolute value equation. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.